Hey guys, so it is Super Bowl Sunday, which means one of two things. One, that unfortunately the Patriots are not playing, so I'm calling it Beyonce Bowl this year. And two, it means that it's February, which means I can share with you guys my January favorites. So I'm going to go through, I have like a couple of little things full of products I want to share, uh, music, TV, other stuff like that. So let's get started. So I guess I'll start off with tools first and like brushes and things like that. Um, Obviously, I've been using my Coastal Suns brush kit, but I definitely bought in January um, one of their Real Techniques brushes where, if you guys don't know, these are done by Samantha Chapman, who is a YouTube artist under Pixie Woo with her and her sister, and they have this incredible, incredible brush line, and I got the first one, which is the Expert Face Brush. Um, I got this at Ulta, and... I am absolutely in love with these brushes. I really can't wait to kind of expand and get the whole brush kit. I definitely want to get the big blush kit. I want to get probably the travel kit and I definitely want to get the eye kit because you can never really have too many brushes. The next thing I literally bought this, didn't use it until like a week ago and then definitely used it today and was like, holy crap, how have I been living without this? Um, so everybody knows what the beauty blenders are. They're obviously these like sponges, but this is the knockoff version from Ulta. And it was $4, and excuse me that it is dirty. They get dirty, though. And this is one of the greatest tools to have. Um, I used it for my under-eye concealer, and it literally gave me airbrush look. Like, I got rid of all my dark circles. I can use it to make sure that I have a nice even coverage on everything. But for $4.99, this is absolutely fantastic, and I can't wait to use it more and more with my liquid foundation with my NYX. And I guess the last, like, tool kind of thing that I have. Um, I got a new eyelash curler because the one I had, I had one of the ones from Forever 21 and it was pink and bedazzled and I was like, this is great and all, but I kind of need a better one because it wasn't really, the spring pad wasn't working so well. I didn't feel like it was really curling my lashes. So I'm going to actually show you because this is incredible. This is the e.l.f. eyelash curler and it's $3 and literally, boom, like this is incredible. I know that a lot of people spend like a lot of money for eyelash curlers, but I think that this one, it's super inexpensive. It has a nice spring to it. It has a nice um, rubberized bottom. So you really feel like you are actually curling your lashes and it's definitely just, I'm obsessed with that. So yeah, and you could technically hang it if you needed to. So, but I just throw it in my little caboodle thing. First product is the e.l.f. Tinted Moisturizer. And this is in the shade Nude. Um, these are great tinted moisturizers. I think it's like $3. You're not gonna get a whole lot of coverage. So I have seen people who have tried to compare it to like a BB cream without the uh, benefits for face like acne and things like that. I wouldn't necessarily go as far as that, but I would definitely say that this is a great base to put underneath uh, any powder foundation or liquid foundation, or if you want to just throw on a really, really light coverage. You can technically build it up. I, I've i used it in a bunch of tutorials, but I have to say it is definitely a fantastic tinted moisturizer, so it is exactly what it says. Um, shade works really well. Next would be the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil. This is obviously in milk, which is pretty much an essential. I really, really like these. I'm definitely going to be getting more colors of them. They go on super smooth, so I will swatch it for you. So as you can see, super, super smooth. Um, it has a little yellow on it because I was testing out my Hufflepuff um, makeup tutorial for the Hogwarts Hottie series. They're inexpensive. I can actually, I think they're like $4.99 to Ulta. So definitely if you can pick these up they come in great colors and milk is definitely one that you should get and try and find it in stock because there have been times where i've been to ulta and it has never been in stock but i finally went the other week and it was in stock so very proud that i was able to find this gem next is the rimmel uh kate moss collection and i have this in nine and I'm going to swatch it for you. I use this in the Gryffindor tutorial for Hogwarts Hotties. It is a beautiful Merlot, but more on the magenta side color. Um, it has a really nice smooth finish to it. I'm obviously not wearing lipstick right now because I just have it on a little bit of lip tint. Um, it was under $5, which is always great. This is definitely probably going to be more of my 
darker reds. Um, I have a couple of red lipsticks and this is the darkest one that I have, but it's also probably one of my favorites. It is more on the magenta purple size. Excuse me. It is more on the magenta purple side, but definitely very glad that I picked this up and you can get it at any drugstore or Ulta or I think you can get it online. So the next thing I have to like pick through this to get this, but I got the sexy six kit from Benefit, try saying that five times fast, which included six like small sizes of a bunch of their products. Now I've owned some of these products before um, and have either ran out of them or misplaced them or it was my mom's and I used to share it with her because I was like 14. But um, so th it comes with six mini products and I'll talk about the three products that I had had before and the three that I had not that I have tried that I have now fallen in love with and will probably end up getting full sizes of. So the first one is obviously High Beam, which if you don't know is a beautiful pink luminescent uh, complexion enhancer. So it's kind of like a liquid highlighter and it's this beautiful ballet slipper pink color. It does come on a mini little brush and you just add little bits to tops of your cheeks or you can put it underneath your eyes even just to give you a little bit of brightness and it's absolutely fantastic. This is by far one of my favorite products that I've owned in my lifetime, and I'm very glad that I have enough small little itty bitty baby size. The next one I will get into is, okay, I'll go with, I'll go with this one. I'll get it out, okay. The next one is the Posy Tint, which is a poppy lip tint and cheek tint, and I actually am wearing it as a lip tint today, and it is absolutely beautiful um it does have kind of a i don't know how to like describe it, it has a weird smell but not like bad weird just like okay it definitely smells like makeup if that makes sense um i can swatch it for you guys so you can see what it looks like it comes out kind of barbie pink but if you have a little bit of a darker lip like me it turns more mauve but that is it underneath so there you guys go so you can see that um yeah so it looks really barbie pink on the brush even definitely great i know that they have a darker color which is another one that i used to have um but i love the poppy one it's just it's so cute and you can't really go wrong with a good lip cheek tint so definitely great little product okay the last one is one that i had for a very long time I am so glad that I had this mini one of it. I am wearing it now and I will definitely be buying a full size one once my next paycheck and I do through all that stuff. But it's the Bad Girl Lash from Benefit. Oh my gosh, this is probably one of my favorite mascaras of all time. Um, just absolutely beautiful. Comes with a full size brush, nice thick formula, works really well. It the This is a very buildable, buildable mascara. I'm obsessed with this. This is a mascara everybody should have. This is, I know everybody's been talking about the Maybelline Rocket recently. No, I will always, true and tried, if I'm not wearing my fairy drops, will probably be wearing this because it is absolutely beautiful. I mean, yeah, I have my Sephora one, but this one tops Sephora for me. Okay. And then in the Sexy Six little packet it came with three other products that I had never tried before and I did try them all before I reviewed them for you guys and I do love them um first is the Hula Benefit bronzer um this is a beautiful little bronzer and when you get it in the sexy six it comes like this so it is a nice medium brown color for a bronzer um if you have a lighter skin complexion this is a great color for contour um I used it on my roommate who's very very fair skin with freckles and this worked beautifully on her. It works on my skin tone. It works on her skin tone. It just, it's, it's so smooth. And I don't know if it has like a smell or anything. Cause sometimes it smells, it smells like powder makeup. Like nothing's really going to bother me when it comes to smells of makeup or like brush bags or shit like that. But, um, really do like this. And it makes me want to try more and more of the benefit blush kits and blush palettes and whatever the hell they have for blush but i definitely will probably be getting a full size of this as well next is the stay don't stray and this is a primer for concealer and eyeshadow and i use this in the hufflepuff tutorial versus my nyx one i have to say this is really incredible um to put it they're kind of on very even playing fields when it comes to my nyx high def but 
it comes out it has a little wand so you can see that um, really nice coverage a little bit more on the liquidy side I don't know if that's because just my next one is like drying out probably um, but I really like this it's a little it's less translucent than my next this is definitely more opaque um, and a little bit darker and I do really like this and I will probably end up getting a full size of this because it's definitely something that I enjoyed using and I definitely can see as being one of those I can switch between NYX and Benefit for eyeshadow and concealer primer. So. And the last one is the That Girl Brightening Face Primer, which comes in this adorable little tube. And this is uh, obviously what it says. It is a primer and it does have a brightening aspect to it. I really did like this. It's super fun. Um, I'll show you what it looks like. So. It comes out more pink. Um, I'll swatch it on my other hand so you guys can see. But it comes out more on the pinky side. But then if you put that underneath everything, it does give you a little bit of a blow. Of, excuse me. If you put this underneath everything, it does give you a nice glow to everything. And it definitely does brighten your face, which is really nice. Um, I'm, I've only used it underneath my powder from NYX. I would like to see what it looks like underneath my tinted moisturizer from e.l.f. or my liquid foundation from NYX. So that is the Sexy Six kit, which is, I believe, $24 at Ulta, and you can usually find it right by the front where all of those uh, round carousel things are by checkout. So yeah. And my last beauty uh, favorite for January is my NYX Nude on Nude palette where if you don't know what this is, it is a eyeshadow palette that NYX did. That kind of reminds me of both the Naked 1 and 2 combined together. So with both matte and shimmer shades, I will show it to you. It is absolutely stunning. It comes with a nice full-size mirror, which is really, really nice. It has whites, it has vanillas, it has taupes, browns, blacks, silvers, uh, light golds. Um, it does have the lip glosses underneath. I have never used these. I don't see the point in having them. I love me a good NYX lip gloss, but that wasn't why I bought the palette. And for 25 bucks versus spending $100 on two naked palettes, I'm very happy with this purchase. So love my NYX Nude on Nude palette. I am wearing it today. I have a gold on and then a darker brown as my crease and outer V color. So for $25, this was an absolutely fantastic investment okay oh calvin harris's new album 18 months i have the docs edition this is such a fantastic album obviously everybody knows songs from it like um we found love um feel so close uh sweet nothing drinking from the bottle just go listen to this album it's absolutely incredible next person is hannah emerson if you do not know who this chick is find out who she is she is fantastic i will put a link over here to her most recent cover which is say my name by destiny's child she's 18 she's from texas um i have to thank ricky rollins for tweeting about her and i'm just like oh she's so good i know so many people that watch me are charlene k dio katzman darren chris team star kid fans she fits into this realm of awesome singer songwriters who just literally their music you can listen to on stop you can buy her songs on itunes and i think bandcamp but i'm not sure i will put a link to her website in the description box below but definitely check her out she is one to watch super talented gorgeous like i just she's fantastic like absolutely fantastic and girl has youtube creds like go check out her channel and you'll see girl's got some views on her videos other than that, don't really have that many favorites for this month. Um, you can, as always, follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Tumblr, and Facebook to find out more about what's happening. Don't forget to subscribe so you guys can see the last installment of the Hogwarts Hotties uh, makeup series, as well as a couple other ones that I have coming up based off of Pretty Little Liars, Glee, The Warblers, and other fun things. As always, thank you guys for subscribing, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.